Let's take a look at our common interface, the four elements, the cube of space and language. When I'm talking about an interface, I'm talking about basically for simple purposes, the different types of buttons, for example, that you might press in order to do something. And for this example, let's take a very simple interface such as you might find on a player, a music player, or a music player software. A media player, for example. It could be another type of music player, but the media player is a good example. It has arrows pointing to the left, and that corresponds to rewind, and it has arrows pointing to the right, and those arrows correspond to fast forward. We also have a way to turn down the volume by sliding this bar to the left or turn it up by sliding it to the right. Another interface may provide you with a way to shut something off. Generally, left is off and right is on. We can also see that left corresponds to rewind, which is back or rear, and to the right is forward or fast forward. So if we want to rewind a particular song to the beginning, we would press the left arrow key. If we want to go ahead forward in the song, we would press the right key. If we want to shut something off, we might slide a bar to the left or press an arrow to the left. Whereas if we want to turn a device on, we will press the arrow to the right or slide the bar to the right. In this case, we've got all four elements mapped out to correspond to either the left or the right. On the left, we've got water and earth, and on the right, we have air and fire. Also, the left arrow is black, corresponding to yin, while the arrow on the right is white, corresponding to yang. All the directions are actually one. Uh, in a dream, there are no directions. Everything is emanating from a point, one's own consciousness. So if we view the center of a particular um, line as being that point of consciousness, the center of this cross between elements, we see that depending on the direction the observer is viewing something, left could be left to the observer or it could be right. So depending on the way that you turn your body, the directions change relative to somebody else perceiving those directions or how they are laid out externally. I'd like to point out the fact that these two directions then become four. So now what was up is also forward or front, and that also corresponds to the right. What is down or back is also left. So we know that if the clock goes backwards, it's going to the left, whereas if it's going forward clockwise, it's going to the right. So we see that 
right is also forward and up, while left is also down and back. And we can see that on our next image here where the directions have been distributed into six directions. So we've gone from two to four to six. So that our two or our one conscious direction has become two conscious directions. And here we see that our two conscious directions have become three. Also our two, first our one unconscious direction has become two unconscious directions. And then that's become three. So we see that left is also back and down.